can you see can you see what i see those are agapanthus seeds there let's just see if we can get a couple out from there this is the um the old dead flower from the agapanthus uh, that was looking beautiful back in the summer kept on flowering for months really from june till september i would say um, and that is an agapanthus seed never done this before i thought we'd give it a go see if we can collect some seed here so i'm just gonna pick those black seeds off the head there and see how many we can collect put them into some compost stick them in the greenhouse we'll take the whole pods with us now um, and we'll give it a go stick with me and um, I'll show you how we're going to sow them and see if we get any joy oh <laughs> Look at those bad boys. Let's get a few more. I'm doing this in um, December, just a couple of days before Christmas in the school garden. I've popped up the school to uh, check on the plants and do a little bit of potting. Um, and I spotted these and they were just kind of bursting. Um, I suppose in the wild where these naturally grow in kind of South Africa and warmer Mediterranean climates and the Channel Islands. Hello Guernsey. Um, uh, they would just drop their seed and the seed would probably survive in their mild winters. But here, combination of the damp and cold winters would probably reduce the chance of these seeds um, germinating outside. But I think if we give them a little bit of protection as much from the, the wet as the, um, as the cold and see if we can get some of them to germinate. There's the plant. Look, we, we've been growing it for a number of years and it's flowered really strongly. Not a huge number of flowers, but big, big um, globes of um, blue um, through the summer. And uh, let's go and sow some seeds and see what we can get next year. Right, here we are. Back in the, um, in the slight warmth of the uh, outdoor classroom here, our kind of big shed. Um, and you can see I've got some compost here, which are this stuff on the right. I've mixed some sand in with that. You can see a difference in colour. That's kind of darker there. This is a bit lighter looking because I've mixed in some sand there. You could use grit. Actually, the coarser the sand, the bigger the lumps of sand, the better. Um, this is quite fine sand, but it'll help just to improve the drainage um, because these seeds don't want to be sat in soaking wet compost, as we were saying just now. They their natural habitat would be um, a little bit drier. So we've got some um, well-drained compost. Let's get that into a seed tray now then. Oh, I don't know, this is, so we're, we're two days past the shortest day of the year. So we're just on the 23rd of December, so I'm into spring mode. We've, uh, it feels like we're in the depth of the winter and indeed we are, it's kind of very short days and there's not much light during those days. But the days are now getting longer. So I'm kind of in spring mode. So kind of sowing some seed like this, um, even though there's not much sign of life in these things at the moment, it's kind of a little, oh, it's a kind of little taste of spring for me. This is uh, quite uh, uplifting. Um, a little Christmas gift to myself and hopefully the pupils and the staff at the school here if we can get get these seeds to germinate. So there we are. There's a worm there. Um, so we've got our compost nice and level in the um, in the seed tray. And now we're just going to tease the black seeds out from these seed pods and spread them around over the over the compost. Might take a might take a few minutes to get them all out. There's another one in there. Come on fella. You can start a new life. There we go. So here's a green pod here, but they just once they start to burst like that and you can see the black seeds inside, that means they're ready to go. 
and we can uh, get these seeds into the compost. Give me a minute or two just to get the rest of these seeds out and then I'll show you what we're going to do next. There we go. You can see that we've uh, kind of split open those pods and distributed the seeds over that uh, nice sandy compost there. Quite flat. They remind me of a little tadpole, to be honest. Um, with a little kind of swollen head and a little tail of material just behind them. So those last few are going to go onto the tray now. Come on, fella. Off you go. There we are. So then I'm just going to very, very... Getting down on my hands and knees here. Just going to very lightly brush over the soil just to partially bury some of them into the top millimetre or two of that nice sandy compost. It may not help the seeds very much, but it helps me. Very relaxing, very soothing. <laughs> there we are. And then I'm going to get a bit more sand. And just gently sprinkle some sand over the surface of the compost like this just to help with that drainage and to help bed those those seeds in like I say probably some coarser sand larger grains of sand, potting sand or horticultural sand, horticultural grit even, would um, probably be even better than this quite fine sand that I'm using here. But um, fine sand is all we've got. There we are. So now, to say we're doing this in, um, in late December, I'm gonna put this seed tray into the greenhouse on a bench. Um, it's barely got any heat in that greenhouse. It's just got a tiny little electric um, heater which keeps uh, keeps it just uh, above frost um, temperature. So um, uh, it, uh, it will get quite chilly in there. Uh, it might have to go down to kind of one or two degrees. Uh, it shouldn't go below that though. So we're not giving it any kind of extra heat really. Um, and where are we now? So middle of December, I would hope that by middle of March, I'm gonna treat these like I would a quarter line palm tree seeds. So we're just gonna put them in the same environment as, as we do those. And I'm hoping by middle to end of March, maybe early April, we should see some little little green shoots of life. Um, and uh, well, we should keep you posted. I hope um, this works. <laughs> One way to find out, um, you could of course subscribe to our channel and then you wouldn't miss the next thrilling episode. I'm not trying to, you know, not trying to twist your arm, but you'll be very welcome. And we certainly would like to hear your comments. If you've sown um, agapanthus seeds um, yourself and had success or, or not, please let us know. Let's see if we can help each other here to succeed um, with our little experiments in the garden. Thanks for watching. Speak soon. Bye. Oh, and Merry Christmas. <laughs>